and I do want to be doing these regularly. So, you know, put them in the comments below about any ideas. So you're probably thinking now, well, what, you know, what type of things do you do? Well, if you've only just come on my channel or you don't really know me very well, I'll just give a quick rundown of who I am, what I'm about. So I'm an emotion co-practitioner, meaning that I release trapped emotions behind anywhere you're blocking in your life, anywhere you have endless cycles going on, anywhere where you're not able to move forward is often a sign that you have trapped emotions and through muscle testing I identify those and I release them. I also use the creative process for releasing, releasing emotions. I created something I named as Into Art of Expression. You can find loads of videos on there on my channel. And into art of expression is an incredibly powerful process of the layering of acrylic paint and the addition of essential oils for releasing emotions. And it's kind of that thing of, you know, a picture paints a thousand words in the fact that painting can give us so much clarity on where we are right now. And through the use of essential oils in there, it really helps to identify probably deep seated emotions and release them. It's hugely powerful. I also use the creative process for helping people to awaken the creator within, to really show that we're all creators. And not to do that from a perfection point of view, not like doing art, but just allowing ourselves to express, almost like a child would express during the creative process. And yeah, they're kind of like my main tools. Everything is based around emotion and creativity. And right now I am feeling called, and I say this because I've been on a long journey, which kind of feels like being on the river and being and landing on different banks of the river and needing to, to work doing something. So I've done like positivity coaching and color analysis and language coaching. And right now I'm feeling really called to work with those people who are waking up, who are probably hitting midlife and wondering what the heck they're doing what can they do with their time and what their purpose is here and through that as well if they're waking up spiritually thinking well you know I'm kind of waking up um I'm aware that I feel things that I probably see things that I see the world differently but my friends call me too woo woo um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit too out there I don't have any friends so feeling quite lonely while you're coming out of the spiritual closet and then through that, as we're transforming and awakening, standing there in what seems like such a negative world and trying to stay on our path, our authentic path, aligned to who we are, without being swayed by all the negativity that's around. So that's kind of like the key areas where I work. And so if within that, anything inspires you to ask me a question, or any topic that you would like me to talk about, throw it in the comments because I would really love for your input because this is for you. This, this, These lives aren't for me. They're for you. They're for your benefit. So if you feel that I could help give you clarity in areas of probably spirituality, creativity, positivity, any areas like that. I've got really itchy loads this morning. I don't know what that's about. Um, then maybe I can help give clarity on that. I'm just sat here. This is my cat, Neo. I do incidentally have 10 cats, <laughs> all born from a pure feral wild cat that adopted us. And that's a whole other video I could probably talk about as cats. So there we go. Just a little pop in of a live and just, yeah put any comments, send me a message on what you would love me to do a live on and maybe I'll be picking your question or your topic. Have an absolute fabulous day wherever you are in the world and I look forward to hearing from you. My cat has just fallen off my knee. <laughs> my boy. Well...